But first, we want to start here because in just a matter of hours, closing arguments are set to begin in President Donald Trump's civil fraud trial. So things are not going as planned. Uh, Mr. Trump will not be addressing the court any longer after the judge in the case. And we all, we've all heard how contentious things have been between uh, yeah. President Trump and this judge. The judge ruling he, Mr. Trump, had to stick to evidence, not campaign, and not complain about the court. Dre Clark is live from the courthouse. Dre, uh, those rules sound pretty standard, uh, but was there anything else that the judge ruled on that the president uh, was not actually amenable to? Well, there were a number of things. One, which you just mentioned, that he was not allowed to veer off and make any type of comments or offer his opinions on courtroom staff. And also, he was ordered not to deliver a campaign speech. Uh, but it had all the potential to be a memorable closing argument delivered by the former president, Donald Trump, in grand fashion, as he likes to do. But as of yesterday, we learned it's not going to happen. Judge Arthur and Gorin initially agreed to allow the former president to speak in court today, but there were stipulations in a Apparently, Mr. Trump's legal team did not like them, so he's not going to speak in court today. But in his response to the former president's request to deliver his own closing argument, the judge said this, he would not be allowed to introduce new evidence, comment on irrelevant matters, or deliver a campaign speech, or impugn the judge, his staff, the attorney general, her lawyers, or the court system. Now, Mr. Trump's attorney, Christopher Kyes, responded by saying, you are not allowing President Trump, who has been wrongfully demeaned and belittled by an out-of-control, politically motivated attorney general, to speak about the things that must be spoken about. Judge Ngoran said after not hearing from Mr. Trump's legal team by noon yesterday, he assumed Mr. Trump did not agree with the terms he set, so he rescinded his decision to allow the former president to speak in court today. So we are now now, one step closer to Mr. Trump's civil fraud trial, reaching a conclusion, the former president continues to call the trial rigged, a scam, and a form of election interference. But there's a lot on the line for Mr. Trump. He could be forced to pay a $250 million fine and lose control over his family-owned and operated real estate empire, which has made him a very wealthy man. New York State Attorney General Letitia James says Mr. Trump, his two sons, Don Jr. and Eric, and many others, for decades lied about the their father's wealth and overinflated the value of some of their real estate holdings to get better terms on bank loans and insurance. The attorney general says what they did was commit fraud, and the judge agrees as he's already issued a partial judgment saying he believes fraud was committed. Mr. Trump and his sons deny all allegations. So after 11 weeks, more than 40 witnesses, and a lot of courtroom drama, Judge and Gorn will hear closing arguments today and eventually render his decision, and he says he hopes to have a decision in place by the end of the month. Now, Mr. Trump is expected to be here at the courthouse in lower Manhattan today. Uh, he says he's still interested in having his chance to speak and deliver his own closing argument in court today, uh, but there is no indication that Judge N. Gorin is interested in giving him a second opportunity. But I think we're going to see a lot of courtroom drama again today as this case is now beginning to wind down. Marquis, Adrian. Yeah, I'm betting you're right, and we know you're on top of it. Dre Clark.